Hey, Mr. Run, you were, uh, you're showing off your snow. That's a lot of snow. And I'm glad you said that uh, you told me that the, on the snow drifts there was nothing under them, you know, these tall mountains of snow, because really it looked like there was probably something under them. So it's cool to think that there wasn't anything. Oh, uh, your excellent diamond cutter friend, diamond cutter friend, uh, he seemed cool. Hello, diamond cutter. Um, what else? Oh, and you took the stairs and you didn't throw any flashbangs or uh, stack one of those uh, uh, explosives into the ground. You didn't spike one of those into the base of the stairs. I don't know. Has, has Black Ops taught you nothing? I don't think it has. Well, you showed off your snow, your big stacked snow. So uh, what's Earl going to show off? Well, look at this, for instance. Okay, so you're seeing a hillside that slopes down into a lake. Okay, now watch this. Now keep in mind, we're on a... I totally planned that. Now keep in mind, we're on a slope. That's right, it is so wet here in Portland, Oregon, that water deep water sticks to the side of hills. Puddles, probably in, uh, in your country, uh, they probably, they're probably just on flat ground. They fill up holes and stuff like that. Puddles here stick to the sides of mountains. You like, like rock climbers sometimes? Uh, there's a danger of not just falling, but drowning. They'll be going up a, 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 a mountain face or a steep cliff and find themselves in about a four and a half foot deep puddle. And, uh, you know, that's why they're roped up. <laughs> so you talked about, and I was just talking to, uh, to Murder God about, uh, about Zen. Um, and I think that's one of the things I love about video games, is the, uh, uh, the kind of mindfulness, yet mindlessness. Um, you just kind of disconnect and react. Um, I think it's I think it's great. And the way that you described how you go about things, <laughs> about how you talk about uh, having goals and setting yourself goals, uh, that's how you know how I do things. How you talked about doing things in that. Uh, you focus on what you got going on, and you're enjoying it, and then you find things enter into your life, and then you focus and enjoy them. That's brilliant. You're brilliant. I mean, that's that's something I strive for. And to hear you say that you feel that that's just the way uh, life is for you. Man, you are, I got a giant head start. <laughs> I want that to be the way I do things. I want just to like, do the best I can with what I've got going on and enjoy myself and have a great time and as, as new things come into my life I accept it and focus on it and as things uh, leave my life I accept it and uh, and don't try to hold on to uh, you know what I loved about those things because that you know wanting something you can't have uh, you know leads to, to suffering isn't this a nice spot Let's do a spin. <laughs> and other than, you know, that water is pouring into my boots. Uh, I normally wear uh, some really fantastic uh, kick butt boots, but I had to take them in and get resold. They were quite impressed with the amount of damage that I can inflict on some boots. And they showed that, um, uh, that appreciation by charging me the, the most they could charge to have them fixed. Acceptance now. <laughs> All right, Mr. Run. Uh, a pleasure to vlog with you as always, and uh, I'll see you in the tubes.